Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Ash, and today I'm doing a quick review for Bunny Parking on Windows PC. So, this game is another game in the Bunny franchise from Dilly Frame Games, and they were kind enough to send me a copy of this to do a video review, so big thank you to them for that. Now, I have covered a few of the bunny games now and i have actually finished uh, bunny parking on uh, the xbox however this is the windows version it does have stackable achievements for all you achievement hunters out there so make sure you check it out if you want to get another thousand game score plus so this is a sort of parking puzzle game where you basically kick cars out of the way to move them around sort of like remember those sliding puzzles you played as a kid or you may have played as a kid um basically like them uh you move the cars out of the way so you've got a clear path to kick basically the other car from one side of the car park to the other now this um takes place over multiple levels over multiple difficulties so they start easy medium hard um they start off pretty simple and then they do get you end up having to do like 50 60 sort of moves to to clear away and stuff like that move like three cars just to move one car into one position and stuff so it does take quite a bit of um thinking as you you go along now the game does also feature cooperative mode so up to four friends can play online via online multiplayer uh basically all working together to complete the puzzles now with the other bunny games as well this game features like odd things to do out and about around the main sort of puzzle mechanic so you can sort of roam around the sort of city area um you can sort of play football there's like um a boat you can go on there's secrets and stuff to unlock like i say there's like this weird ending where you find a well and you know, not an ending but yeah you kick this well and then like all the weather changes and stuff like that very odd um you can sort of change your character's look all that sort of stuff there's all sorts of weird little things silly stupid things you can get buffs and stuff like that to make you better at things um so it's well worth also sort of roaming around the area having a look and stuff like that and seeing what you can find you will have to do a lot of these as well for the achievement so it is worth looking about uh, interacting with things and stuff like that now it's not the most difficult um game to get the 1000 gamer score on um however you do have to sort of finish a certain amount of levels so it will take you longer basically doing the levels and also then you have to do like kick so many cars so that is the one that will take you the most amount of time like i think it's kick 100 different cars um so it will take a bit of time to build that up but the game itself is a fun little game like i say it, it's a solid little puzzle game it's got some funny little things around the outside and it runs really well on pc like i say i felt it it ran better than the xbox version i don't know whether it looked nicer or if it's had like a coat of paint or like a bit of polish since i played the xbox version but like everything looked nicer i mean the levels are exactly the same layout and stuff but it just it seemed to have like a, a shiny coat of paint but maybe that's just how i'm remembering it but uh, all in all like i say fun little puzzle game very easy achievement score like i say um a, a thousand game score in a very um short amount of time compared to what it could have been and they'll probably add more to it in the future they have done uh with other bunny games so, like I say, it's only priced at $4.99, and you're getting over 300 puzzle levels in that with up to four-player co-op. So, it's a win-win all around, like I say. Um, you may not like the style and the graphics and stuff like that, but the actual core mechanics, the puzzle aspect of it, is pretty sound. But that's it for this video, guys. If you've enjoyed it, hit that like button, hit subscribe. Let us know if there's any other games you want to see us cover, and we'll see you soon for more content. Bye for now.